you are looking for a set that you can literally wear out or in the gym, then you are on the right video. Let's talk about Camel Fitness's Ellen tank top and their Serenity shorts. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Lane. Welcome, welcome. Don't forget to introduce yourself down below. I'm a weight loss coach, a fitness enthusiast, and an active bird lover. And today we are reviewing two pieces from Camel Fitness, their Ellen High Neck Tank Top and their Serenity Shorts. Now, if you watch my other Camel Fitness reviews, they've been kind of up and down, but I've been saving this for the end because this is by far my favorite combination from Camel Fitness and my favorite pieces from Camel Fitness. Now, if you have noticed, yes, we are changing the filming setup a little bit. Please bear with me as I try and find some good lighting and just some good mechanics for my new place. But for now, the setup is a little bit different. The sound might sound a little bit different as well. It will only last for a couple weeks as I try and figure out what is going to be the best filming setup going forward. If you're looking for my measurements, they're down in the description box below, so definitely make sure to check them out. And this entire video is timestamped for your convenience. Now, at the beginning of this video, I am going to mention that today's sponsor Yay! is Fitville Shoes, and we will be talking about them later on in the video. So if you're looking for a comfortable pair of running or walking shoes, snow boots, or hiking shoes, definitely make sure to stick around to that part of the video so that I can give you some information about their sizing. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And now let's get on with this review. We are starting with the Camel Fitness High Neck Tank. And I believe this color is French blue. I will have it on the screen, but this is a $25 USD sports bra tank combination. So there is an inner lining bra on the inside. Let me just lift it up here. And then there is the tank top component that gives you a full coverage. Now, the general details of this top, it is a brushed nylon spandex fabric, so it's slightly brushed. It is quite stretchy. And with this top, you have the high neck cut, so it sits comfortably, I would say, underneath the neck. It's not anything that's strangling you. And you've got high coverage on the side boob as well. And then we've got the straps here. They're thick-ish straps that turn into a crisscross on the back. And apart from that crisscross detail, the rest of this tank is quite plain with the only other detail being this seam that is directly under the bus. For the support of this tank, I am going to give it more of a low medium support because I took the bra pads out because they showed through the they showed through the material. But as I am bouncing around, I am getting a lot of movement. So I'm going to say this is more of a low support tank. And if you're someone who does not like low support tanks then this is probably not going to be the one for you for the sizing this is a size small and i'm going to say that it is true to size now if you're someone who's between sizes and you have train your upper body i'm definitely going to recommend that you size up because there is no adjustability to this top and i find that for me it does cut in a little bit at the traps so if you're between sizes you're going to want to go with the bigger size but overall i do find that it fits extremely true to size with the side boob i am getting more of like a medium high coverage on the side now if you're someone who has larger than average cups expect there to be less coverage on the side boob here and when it comes to the cup room in general i do find that i have quite a little bit of wiggle room in here so if i were to gain weight and my chest was to grow i think that i would still fit in here comfortably without having a lot of spillage out the size of the top when it comes to sweat, this colorway will show sweat, especially if you are going to be walking around a lot. Now, I wore this set out while I was just going around um, on my vacation, and I wore it for hours. It is definitely comfortable, but after an hour or so of just doing some light, well, I would say moderate walking, I did start to see the sweat showing through at the bottom bra band, as well as at the back as well. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to be wearing this out and about, and you're going to be doing activity of some sort, then you're probably going to end up seeing some sweat marks if I break through eventually. I like how functional this top is, by the way. I absolutely love the fact that how it sits on you, it's very contouring at the waist. So if you're someone who doesn't like to show a lot of skin at the gym, and you'd like your midsection to be covered, I think that this is a great top to have in your closet. I'm actually going to go and buy all of the colorways when they come back in stock, and I might go and grab a medium just to see how it feels because I am a little bit um, uncomfortable where the straps sit on my traps, and I'm curious to see if sizing up would provide that 
comfort at the traps while still fitting me properly. So when I do that, I will do an updated size comparison for you. But overall, I do like how this top is literally, it can be an everyday top, it can be an activewear top, and overall, it just makes you look very good. So if you're someone who likes more shape or tight pieces, I feel like this is one of those pieces that really does sculpt you nicely. And overall, it just makes me feel very comfortable and confident in the gym, despite the fact that I'm more covered up than I usually am in most of my videos. Okay, so it's time to pay some bills with today's sponsor for this video, which is Fitbill. Fitbill is a shoe company that specializes in wide toe box shoes, meaning that if you're someone who finds that you are chronically feeling some pain and discomfort from your sneakers being too narrow in the front, these may be the shoes for you because I've been wearing these for the past couple of weeks and they honestly just feel so nice and comfortable and open at the front. So with Fitbill shoes having a wide toe box, it does come in two different widths. There's a wide and an extra wide to accommodate different foot shapes and to relieve foot pressure that's often caused by cramming of the foot from narrow shoes. If you have seen my lifting shoes, my Reebok lifting shoes, they are very, very narrow at the front. That's why I usually only wear them for when I am squatting because honestly, after about 20 minutes with those shoes on, I do start to feel quite a bit of discomfort, especially at my toe and my pinky because it's so narrow at the front that it just squishes everything together. But this is not an issue that you'll see me having in the Fitville shoes, but keep in mind the Fitville shoes Fitville shoes, specifically these ones that I have, which are the women's high top rebound core shoes, are meant for walking and running everyday type of activities, not specifically for lifting. When I got these shoes, I was actually quite pleasantly surprised because each shoe came in its own individually wrapped little bag, which I thought was the cutest thing ever, as well as it came with a little guide on the shoes and how to love your feet and just giving you information on what the shoes do to essentially relieve pain and aching from your feet. These shoes do have their patented Propel Core soles and they also have shock absorbing pads in them, making them perfect for anyone who chronically experiences fatigue from walking or is on their feet all day. All Fitbill shoes have an anti-skid rubber for traction while you're walking, which makes these suitable for outdoor and indoor use. So if you're looking for a new pair of shoes for your workout, pop over to thefitbill.com and use code Elaine for 10% off your order. Next, we have the Serenity 6 inch shorts in the color French blue. Honestly, I love how you can ma mix and match the Ellen top with the Serenity line and it all works out. I love it when companies do that so that there is more color combinations that you can make. But the Serenity shorts are made of the same brushed nylon spandex fabric as the tank top. And with the shorts, they are high-waisted. There is no front seam. And overall, they're just a very plain short. They're more of a biker length. Then when you turn to the back, we have got some very gorgeous and pronounced curved booty seams that actually sit above the glutes. They did a really, really good job of making sure that these hit at the right place instead of cutting your butt in half. So I've got to give props to Canada Fitness for that. Overall, very plain shorts, but they are a great staple piece to have, making them amazing. Let me repeat that, making them amazing for everyday wear if you like wearing your activewear outside of the gym like myself. For the sizing, these are actually an extra small. Now you're gonna look at my measurements and you're just gonna be like, sis, you're between a small and a medium. How are you sizing down to an extra small? Well, if you've been here long enough, you know that with brush fabrics, I do not like it. I do not like it when brush fabrics sit on my body too loose and they don't contour my butt well. I will always prefer to have my activewear tighter to me because then it reduces the amount of crotch gathering I get. With me being four foot 11, sometimes I just have too much excess fabric and things don't sit right on me. So whenever a fabric is described as brushed or um, buttery soft, I usually end up sizing down to an extra small and honey. I made the right choice because look at how good my butt looks. This is sitting on me perfectly. I'm not getting a lot of excess fabric. And even in the extra small, I have excess fabric in the crotch. So if I had gotten the small, this would have been a whole ass mess and I would have been annoyed. So I'm saying that if you're between sizes, you can definitely go with the smaller sizes, but honestly, as a baseline, 
I would recommend that you size down if you're someone like myself who finds that you often get a lot of crotch gathering in your activewear pieces and you prefer your activewear to just be skin tight like me. There is a lot of stretch in these shorts, even at an extra small, which is not my true size. Going into the waistband of these shorts, so they are a seamless waistband. I'm going to give them a low medium compression. They give a little bit of tummy control, but not the most tummy control out there. For me, it does start above my lower belly just because of my proportions, but I do find that they are flattering regardless. And when you put the Ellen tank top over it, it really does have a sculpting effect for your waist. And it's just Chef's Kiss, the most sculpting tank short combination that I own, if I'm being completely honest. When it comes to the crotch area, so I do have some camel toe with these shorts when I am commando, so I'd say more of a medium camel toe. However, if you're going to be wearing underwear with these, expect it to be more of a low on the camel toe scale, but I definitely do get some CT when I'm going commando in these. And you know what? I don't mind because I still look bomb. For the sweat and functionality, similar to the tank top, this colorway will show sweat after a little bit of moderate to intense activity. So be mindful of that. You will definitely get some crotch sweat. You will look like you've peed yourself in the gym if you're going really hard. Do I think it's worth it? Absolutely. Because if your butt looks like this in a pair of shorts, I think it's worth it. Now talking about the butt, we are just going to be honest and say that this is a high on the booty scale. It is very, very rare that I give a pair of non-scrunch or non-navigation shorts a high on a scale, but these just look so freaking good. And I know it's not just the shorts because I I've tested it with other shorts. It's just how the contouring of these seams are. It, do it does really, really well to accentuate your glutes and make your glutes look like they are more full without cutting in or distracting away from your butt. So if you're looking for some very flattering shorts, these are on par with the colorful koala shorts. The best thing about these is that they don't have the front seam, which the colorful koala ones do, and they're all around the same price point. So definitely if you're looking for a pair of flattering ass shorts and you know, they're six inch shorts, these are the shorts for you to invest in. Now, when it comes to the squat proofness, these are squat proof on me. And I'm going to say that all of the colorways, with potentially the exception of the highlighter green, are going to be squat proof because this material, although it's brushed, it's not like, and it's only one layer, it's not a, um, a material that when you stretch out, you can see a lot of light through it. So I'm going to say that for the majority of women, it's going to be swap proof, especially if you're of a darker or olive type skin tone. If you are on the very, very light side of Caucasian, you may need to end up wearing um, a darker underwear with these shorts in this colorway. And when we're looking at the cellulite, these are not cellulite proof at all. They are skin tight. They will show every lump and bump that you have. I don't have an issue with this, but if that is an insecurity of yours, this material it for these shorts and probably the leggings as well is probably not going to be your best friend. However, they did just come out with pattern serenity shorts. So that might be a better option for you if you're someone who does not like your still like showing through because the animal prints patterns that they've come out with are more than likely going to distract away from your cellulites and it's going to be hard to tell the difference between your cellulite and the patterns so that those patterns will hide your cellulite much better than going with a solid color in the Serenity shorts. And all of Camel Fitness's items that I have gotten so far don't have a logo on the outside. They do have a Camel Fitness logo on the inside. So no one's going to really know that this is an activewear piece unless you let them know it's an activewear piece. I mean, like it does look like I'm wearing activewear, keep in mind. But when I was just walking around during my vacation, no one batted an eyelash. It just looks like, you know, I'm, it kind of looks like I'm wearing a one piece right now or like a onesie, but they're two separate pieces. Overall, my thoughts on these shorts, I'm obsessed with them and I'm obsessed with the top. So you're probably going to end up getting a little lookbook of all the different color combinations because I fully plan on buying all the different color combinations because once I find something that I like, I, I like to have multiple of them. Let me know if you're like that too, but I really do love this combination and I love, 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 love these shorts. Thank you so 
much for being here. I appreciate you and your time. Let me know your thoughts on this set. I'm seriously obsessed with this set. I've gotten some amazing pieces for the end of the year to show you and the end of the year going into the next year to show you guys, but this is definitely one of my winning sets, one of my winning combos, and I'm sure it'll show up in a top five video in the future. If you are in the market for some running shoes or just some new gym shoes, everyday shoes, definitely pop over to thefitfill.com to grab yourself a pair of, in my personal opinion, the high top read down shoes or the cutest, but to grab yourself a pair of shoes for the new year, use code Elaine for 10% off your purchase. And the links are all in the description box for your convenience. I appreciate you and your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. Always remember that your fitness goes beyond your aesthetics. It's not just about how good you look. It's important to make sure that you feel good physically, mentally, and emotionally, because that is what brings together a balanced life. Watch the other videos that are on the screen, and I'll see you in the next video.